started out certified organic vegetables and because we were worried about what we were eating and that was 1989, 1990. And um, we were worried about being certified organic, but it certified organic hadn't caught on with a lot of people and we weren't making money. So we dropped the organic and then went to just vegetables. And then as the time progressed, we did went to more plants in the greenhouse in the spring and summer and into cut flowers in the in this this is a lull between nobody buys plants in August September except mums. We sell about um, 150 bouquets a week at Alexandria. Probably about 20 bouquets in Charlestown and probably about 30 in Shepherdstown. So that's just one week. So we in the mornings we cut and then in the afternoons we arrange. Some of these are going to seed because we've just had too many to cut. We don't want um, flowers that are spent because they don't last very long in the vase. So some of those you end up just cutting off and throwing on the ground. Let them go back into soil. So we always try to tell people don't let your flowers go to seed because any plant that produces seed stops producing flower. So here's a celosia and this one looks pretty bad but you can see, can you see the seed? So it's going to produce seed. And that's how we get the volunteers. They come back, they manage to come back the next year. So this isn't the only one, there's more. All of these are producing seed. Oh, that one's not a seed. <laughs> you can see the seed coming out of there too. And as the season progresses, they'll produce more seed. And there it's producing seed. Those are the seeds that are going to be produced. They'll turn brown. And those are the seeds. The seed will be at the bottom. Go down here and look now this is a new one if I pull this one apart there's no seed yet it's not falling apart it's not losing its petals it's not old so you want to get a nice this one even though see it's got multi layers that's the way that flower has been genetically programmed to produce those petals this one doesn't have the petals, it, so it's just a different kind of flower. Oh, good one. Here's one of those. It's got multiple layers, and you can go in here in the back. And again, look at the seeds coming out. So as the bees fly from flower to flower, or the butterflies, or the wasps, everybody thinks wasps are bad, but the wasps spread the pollen from flower to flower. Dahlias, because the dahlias don't produce seed at the top, they produce tubers. And every year we have to dig up the tuber because it'll freeze. They're like potatoes. And so then next spring where we have one plant, we can divide those tubers and have two plants instead of one. But they don't produce a seed, they produce a tuber. When a plant piece drops off, it'll reproduce by just putting in roots. Aren't they beautiful?